What's going on guys? Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, whatever you want to call it, but we're going to call it Christmas. Uh, I just want to make a quick video, say hello, uh, Merry Christmas, and uh, it's been kind of low-key here. Now, my mom's broken leg, we didn't really go out and do anything, you know, we had Christmas morning, got a breakfast at Dunkin' Donuts, <laughs> whatever, it's coffee and a bagel. Um, my big gift this year, as you saw in the opening, was um, the Audio Technica's um, the headphones, uh, the M50s, which I've been wanting for quite a while. I've been going back and forth on headphones. You know, I, I, I bought a pair of Bose uh, Sound, Sound, Sound Trues? Yeah, the Bose Sound Trues, which is their budget level, budget friendly uh, headphones, which, you know what, I'll be completely honest with you, are damn impressive. If you want a pair of headphones for 120 bucks, besides maybe the entry level Audio Technicas, if you like Bose, um, didn't want the name. They're good headphones, but haven't even unpackaged them all the way. These are the M50s. These are the special edition ones. Um, I'll be making a review video at some point, probably. Uh, there's plenty of reviews online from people that I watch, um, but they're considered the best headphones for $200 or less. Like, literally, you don't see them advertised. You don't see them have commercials. You don't see them on Justin Bieber's head when he does concerts and shit like that because they're known across the audio community. Uh, it's it's kind of like Klipsch, like you don't see, or any high-end, you know, um, company for sound, or anything for that matter, turntables, speakers, headphones, um, cars. I mean, when's the last time you saw a goddamn Bentley commercial here in the US? Granted, I'm sure they're all over the place overseas, but you get the idea. Um, they're great headphones from what I've reviewed. I haven't even put them on yet. I'm gonna save that for later. Um, but I just want to make this quick video, say Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and uh, enjoy your day off. You know, working retail, um, it, it's difficult, you know. I mean, it takes a special person to want to talk to people for 12 hours a day, six days in a row, leading up to Christmas. And, <clears throat> it, it, you know, I'm 27, I've been doing retail for a while, and I'm not going to say I'm tired of it, I'm not going to say I'm burnt out. It's just, this has been a very tiresome year, you know, so... I'm glad Christmas is over, put it that way, in one in one respect. Um, but to you fellow retail workers out there, or people who have to work, uh, you know, a lot of hours this time of year as opposed to somebody who works maybe in an office setting or, you know, 9 to 5, Monday through Friday, you know, retail, there's no set schedule, uh, you know. And I know that doctors, police, firemen, uh, military, you know, there are people who, paramedics, there are people who have to work, but they kind of have to, you know, retail... Recently, in the past few years, thanks to Walmart and Kmart, has become pretty low. Like, you have stores that are now open on Thanksgiving. Like, what's stopping them from opening on Christmas at this point? Um, and I, I really think there should be some legislation where, you know what? No, you're not open on Thanksgiving. You're not open on Christmas. And there should be... Re retail workers get two days a year. You know, Christmas and Thanksgiving. And now now they get one. Granted, dedicated, guaranteed... That's the word. Well, not granted. Day off. Uh, but anyway... That's not what this video is about. Merry Christmas. And, um, oh, real quick, uh, I will be going to Washington, D.C. Um, I've already bought the tickets and I've already had a plan. I just haven't talked to you guys about it. Um, I'll be going by myself. Um, I'm going down there from January 1st to the 4th. Four days, not three like I usually do. I have a whole extra day. Uh, and what that means to me is that's a whole day, you know, I wake up in D.C. and go to bed in D.C. Uh, as opposed to getting there on one day, one day, and then leaving on the third. So, um... You know, I plan on visiting some old stopping grounds, the Smithsonian's, of course, the, the National Mall, of course. I'm going to try and get to some places that I haven't gone to yet. Um, now that I have some extra spending cash and a bonus that's coming up. Um, and, of course, Uber, you know, which I didn't take advantage of. But last time I was there, Uber wasn't really a big thing yet. Um, but anyway, uh, leave a comment below. What did you get for Christmas? What would you give? Uh, what, where did you spend time? I, I donated um, some, some cash to the Red Cross. Uh, I usually donate time. Or money this year I was really short short on time working the hours I did so I didn't have time to go to a, a shelter or a kitchen or anything but I did give some give some decent amount of uh, money um, and you should too you know even if it's a dollar and not just the Salvation Army there's a lot of posts going on right now about how the Salvation Army doesn't really give but give to charities that are local that have helped you out in the past and uh, you know give to those in need anyway Merry Christmas have a good night see ya